What's up guys, Hong for OG Fitness. And so in this video, I'm gonna talk about uh, the progression levels in uh, Judo, the belts, and what it represents in terms of uh, skill level, okay? Um, so this is because I was asked to make a video by a few people, right? Uh, regarding Judo belts and you know what they represent in terms of skill level, because I made a video on Brazilian Jiu Jitsu and what each belt represents. So for judo, it's a little bit different, man, because <clears throat> here's the thing, right? Each belt, like if you if you go on, uh, let's say for example, for those of you guys who are in the US, and I know a lot of you guys are, uh, go to like, let's say for example, Judo USA, right? <clears throat> I think that's what it should be, Judo USA or USAjudo.com. And after that, you're gonna have the information there, uh, what needs to uh, be learned in terms of techniques for each belt, right? So for, let's say, well, when you're a beginner, you're a beginner, so your white belt, right? Uh, when you get to, uh, so to get your your um, your yellow belt, you have to know a certain number of techniques. Listen, I don't know them all by heart, man. There's a lot of techniques, you know? So then you learn a list of, uh, there's a list of techniques that you have to learn, right? Uh, and then after that, it's up to the, of course, your coach or sensei to decide like, okay, if you, you know, merit, uh, if you, if you master those techniques, no, not mastered as in like, oh, wow, you're, you're, you're an expert at them, right? It's not that at all, but like, you have to know how to execute them. You understand them, the, you know? And so you have to be able to, well, you have to know the names and then you have to be able to execute them too, right? On like demand, so to speak. So some school have tests, some don't. Me, when I started judo, nothing like i just went i trained they showed me boom 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 then they give me belts every every so often when they felt i deserved it right so and then from um from yellow to orange okay orange belt you have another list of techniques that you have to learn right and then from orange to green another another list of techniques and then from uh, green to blue uh another list of techniques and then when you get to brown, you essentially know pretty much all the techniques and stuff like that. And of course you have to uh, learn the katas and all that uh, for the black belt, right? And a couple of other more techniques too. So that's how it goes in judo. Now, in terms of skill, uh, what I believe to, to be true, right? So everybody's different guys. So my, I mean, everybody learns at a different rate, uh, you know, because of, um, uh, you know, their talent their uh, their experience or athleticism also like the uh, the uh, the frequency that they train at right if you train for example three four times a week well you're gonna you're gonna pick it up faster than if you only train once a week or twice a week or whatnot so i believe that usually it's around i would say green blue belt that's when you start to um to really are able to use your judo I wouldn't say like um, at an advanced level of course not right but that's when like you, you could throw your your average uh, average Joe average schmuck on the street you could throw him, you know you could throw him. chances are you can throw him, okay because once you get to green that's like intermediate you're, you're halfway to black belt so you have uh, uh, you know you've seen the techniques you've been practicing them for a little while and um, so from blue to, to, no, sorry, from green to, to blue, that's when like, mm, you're right in the middle slightly more. That's when I feel as though you're better able to use your judo. You can actually use your judo like uh, in, a, uh, in, a, in a street fight confrontation, uh, so to speak, on an average Joe, right? Because it's, it's, it's actually hard, man, when you're trying to throw somebody and the guy's doing the exact same sport as you and he knows how to throw and he knows how to counter more or less, you know? It's, uh, it's a pain, but then when you, when you grab your, your average schmuck, average Joe on the street, you know, I'm not saying to do that, but I'm just saying uh, if, you, if you grab, you know, if you're, you're play fighting and boom, you decide to throw a OG, you know, or a Ipon, which I don't think you should do throw Ipon like that on the street, it's kind of dangerous, guys. So anyways, yeah. So definitely, I think that's when you're able to uh, to be able to, you know, take on your average Joe, so to speak, right? Because you have uh, enough technique, enough experience at that point, right, uh, to to actually do it. And then, of course, when you get to um, when you get to brown, I mean, brown is essentially like 
you got a really good handle on things, right? If you're given the brown belt by your sensei, I mean, you're not too far from the black after that. Like you're essentially, you just have to go through a couple of more steps, accumulate a couple of points of 120 here in, uh, in Canada, Quebec, right? Montreal, uh, 120 points in competition, uh, or you could do, uh, eh, sorry, and you do the kata and the gokyo exam, right? So you have to demonstrate the techniques and do the kata, like uh, demonstrate the kata, and then you're good. So you're not, like when you're a brown belt, I mean, yeah, now you're, I would consider you, how do you say, it? Uh, dangerous to your average Joe, so to speak, right? Not that you wanna be a danger, but I'm just talking in terms of skill level, right? Compared to somebody who has zero judo, zero grappling, you know, like, man, yeah, you can, you can throw them, man. You can, you can definitely throw them, you know? So every school is different though, but you know, like some schools, they'll give out belts a little bit faster than others. I don't think that's a good thing at all, right? Uh, but, uh, you know, and, and once again, there's, um, everybody's different. You know, there's, uh, there's black belts and there's black belts. There's yellow belts and there's yellow belts. Like there's, there's levels to each belt too, in terms of, uh, you know, skill and all that, right? So, okay, that was a bad example, but I hope that kind of made sense. Sorry guys, I had, you know what? I'm, during this whole quarantine, I don't know about you guys, but I've been, I've been drinking a little bit more than usual, you know, like a little bit of wine every night. And uh, yeah, so I'm a little bit, ooh, a little bit, uh, a little bit wonky today. Okay, so um, to reiterate, each belt has a, a, a list of techniques that you have to learn, right? But, and then from there, blah, 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 blah. And then of course, you know, once you get to your black, your brown belt, after that, the exam and all that, and the points. Okay, and so, but in terms of skill level, I believe that uh, when you're yellow and orange, like you're still, it's not, it's not very, uh, uh, like you, 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 you're not even that good yet with the techniques. Like you throw the techniques and then, you know, they're, they're there, but you're not doing them perfect, you know, because there's a lot of things to learn. Uh, and then after that, once you get to blue, like a green belt, that's when, okay, now your techniques are, are much sharper, right? And you're able to, uh, to actually be able to use it like on the, uh, on the streets, so to speak, right? Uh, blue, of course, even more advanced. Now you're, you're getting there. You're, you know, you're intermediate, a little bit more than intermediate, so to speak. And then uh, once you get to brown belt, I would say that's when, ooh, that, that's when you're, you're a force to be reckoned with, in a sense, right? Compared to the average schmuck on the street who doesn't do nothing, okay? Because then, then you have a really solid foundation because from brown to black, it's, um, it's not um, uh, da, 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 da. it's not that big of a difference, but once you get the black belt, though, hmm, yeah, now you're you're definitely somebody who who uh, yeah, forced to be reckoned with, so to speak. You know, like at uh, at brown belt, you're dangerous. At uh, at uh, green and blue, I would say you're pretty um, you're pretty functional. I mean, you have some skills there. You know, so you can pull off some stuff, right? And of course. In judo though, right, once you get to black belt, that just means that you've mastered the basics, so to speak, and now you're you're going you're, you're now you're you're playing with the big boys. You know, now you're you're in that playing field now with the you're no longer with the kids, you're with the adults now, you know? Now you're with the men, so to speak, in, in judo, right? Um, so and that's where your journey really begins from there. That's when you start perfecting the art, your technique, your style, your this, your dad, da, 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 da. so it's, 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 it starts at black belt as opposed to Brazilian Jiu Jitsu where, you know, uh, it takes so long to get a belt. That <laughs> you get the blue belt, you pretty much beat the crap out of any, any dude who's never done uh, grappling, even if he's bigger than you and stronger than you, right? Because you know how to control him and you know your positions and all that. So that's that. And uh, I'm going to make another video uh, talking about what I think is the the uh, the ideal way because i read this really interesting article about a guy who uh, a frenchman from france right he and he trained in france in judo of course then he went to japan trained there and then he saw how how uh, the approach is in terms of uh, structure right when it comes to uh, training training um you know training for adults really you know uh, because you have to it has to be different when you when you're training adults who, who are beginners Right, it's not the same as uh, uh, the same approach that, and and what tends to happen is that they they tr they tend to use the same approach for kids, which is kind of uh, discouraging 
in a sense, you know, and it gets boring too. So I'll talk about that in another video. It's going to be very interesting, right? I want to gather my thoughts on that. We read the article and I'll even put the link down like uh, of that article. And uh, so maybe you guys will read it and you'll have a different perspective or you'll get something out of it uh, that I didn't. Maybe I missed something, right? But uh, yeah, so that's the thing with judo, right? Each belt, learn your techniques. And after that, uh, in terms of progression in, in, in skill level, you know, it's more, um, it's harder for me to define for some reason. Like in jujitsu, it was more clear, but I find in judo, man, it was only like, I was only, me, myself, personally, I was only uh, confident at about, I would say, blue. Blue was when I was feeling like, okay, you know, I did a couple, couple of competitions, I lost a bunch, and I want, I started winning, 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 and then, uh, yeah, I was doing good. I was doing good in uh, blue belt, you know, against guys who were like 20 years old and stuff like that. So that was, uh, that was really good for my, uh, my confidence, right? And so... I believe, yeah, green to, to blue, depending on, on how, how often you, you train on, on your uh, own uh, innate ability, so to speak, right? And, uh, but for me personally, green and blue belt, blue belt was when I really felt like, yeah, I could, I was confident, like even in the streets, like, yeah, I could, I look at a guy, I'm like, yeah, I could throw this guy like, if I wanted to, right? Or um, not, not like in a cocky way, I don't walk around uh, thinking that to myself, Kind of, actually, I do. <laughs> but it's not, it's not mean, you know? It's, it's not like, oh, it's not an ego thing. It's just like I'm looking and I, I know I can do it. I know that, okay, man, you know, I look at the guy, I, you know, you, you, could, you could size somebody up relatively quickly, you know, with, with enough training, with enough experience and stuff like that. You look at somebody and, and you can feel it. You're like, hmm, yeah, okay, this guy's like this, this guy's like that, he's this tall, this, you know, because you've fought so many guys, you know, different size, different musculature, different attributes, all kinds of stuff. So then when you look at a guy uh, after that, right, then, then you can kind of tell like, okay, he's about that tall, okay, long arms, long legs, hmm, walks like that, doesn't look that uh, athletic, you know, musculature, this and that, eh, you know, so, and, and that's where like blue belt, for me, that's when it started. Brown belt, well, yeah, of course, now I'm, I'm even um, more, uh, uh, a little bit more advanced, of course, than, than when I was a uh, blue belt, right? Uh, and I, I, like, of course, I have, I have confidence in my ability. Um, I can handle myself, like, in a, in a street scenario. But once again, uh, I don't promote that kind of stuff. Uh, like, uh, not that I... Not that I'm scared of it or anything like that. It's not that. It's just that I'm just saying, guys, it's, it's, it's better not to fight in the street. Too many variables. Get yourself in trouble with the law. Go to jail and, 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 and shit like that. Man, you know, really want that. Okay, so, um, yeah. And then, of course, when you get to black, then, of course, when I do get my black belt, it's going to be a, a big thing, a very big achievement in my life because I've always wanted a black belt in something and I never pulled it off. I never stuck into a martial arts for various reasons, you know, uh, in my life. So, yeah, I'm, uh, this is going to be my first black belt in something, right? Uh, mainly, oh, and the reasons why I used to quit before was, um, well, my parents didn't have money, so they, they didn't want to pay for the belt promotions, right? So, so that's why. And of course, I wanted to compete. They didn't want to pay for that either, uh, you know, and, and they just wanted me to focus on school because I'm, I'm a first generation immigrant, right? So when I got here, I was two years old. But my family just came from Vietnam, like uh, off the boat, man, you know, like that, that raft, boat, raft, or a big raft, so to speak, right? So we're essentially boat people, you know, first gen gen generation immigrant, like came here with essentially nothing, right? Except the clothes on our backs. Um, so, I mean, you know, I, 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 it was a childhood dream and I, I never, and I was never able to, uh, to get a black belt in something. And uh, yeah, in judo, so now it's like, man, I, I gotta get this belt, man. I gotta get this belt, and I gotta, I gotta, I gotta, I, I'm going after my dream, you know, my, my childhood dream, which is to, to get a title, man, you know? Actually, it would have been to be an Olympic champion, but it's a little bit late for that. It's okay, man, it's okay. I'll settle for the national or an international title, and I'm gonna, I ain't gonna stop until I get something, right? It's because uh, I believe that only then will, will, will I actually be comfortable actually teaching or, or, or coaching or, or stuff like that. You know, for now, I'm just focused on myself. And um, yeah, yeah, 
So that's where I'm headed with this. So that's it for this video. Uh, rambled on a little bit there. Sorry about that guy. My brain is, guys, my, my brain's a little bit fried. And uh, I'm sure some of you guys have the same problem problem too. You've been you've been drinking a lot a little bit more than than usual because you know we're in quarantine, right? But hey, what else we're gonna do? Uh, that's it. I'm bleh. all right. Thank you very much, guys. Hey, like the channel if you liked it. If you liked the video, of course, subscribe. Uh, you know, share share the video with somebody, and uh, that helps me grow the channel. So hey, guys, we're almost at a thousand almost at a thousand we're like at 922 or something like that so so thank you very much for the support like i really it means a lot to me you know like when i started this channel man like yeah i wanted it to grow but it wasn't very encouraging at the beginning i mean i was getting like one sub every week or, or some craziness like that and now things are just starting to pick up and uh i'm really happy about that it's really awesome you guys are all like um uh, engaging too you know you're, you're writing down comments and all i'm trying to answer them as fast as i can and, and, and make videos and stuff like that so i'm structuring myself so that i'm able to answer you guys and uh you know keep this thing uh keep this community uh going and it, it's very it's the more people we get in here the more information the more knowledge we can share we can talk about all kinds of beautiful stuff and um yeah there you go man so see you guys in the next one peace